Hey everybody, it's Jennifer from Magic Monthly. And I have my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for you guys today. Um, I just want to go ahead and state the obvious that this situation is proof that the post office just absolutely shoved this in my mailbox. So I'm sure you guys can relate, but let's go ahead and get into this box. All right, so full disclosure about this box. Uh, I have seen the spoilers and I kind of already know what I'm getting. So instead of an unboxing, this is gonna be more of a sharing. Um, and I, I saw on some of the uh, online boards on Reddit and stuff like that, that there was going to be a Huda palette and there were gonna be three variations. And the second that I saw there were gonna be that many, that many variations, I got nervous that I would not love the one that I was going to get. So I went ahead to look to see which one I was gonna get. So let me go ahead and share that with you. This is what the palette looks like and this is the Huda Obsessions palette and this is in the color Coral. And this is valued at $27. Um, it is $27 off of their website. And it does have matte and shimmer shades. Um, and this was the one that I knew I would not use. I think it is absolutely stunning. Um, the, the, color, the colors are amazing. Um, I'm gonna try to to show you these as best I can. The shimmer right here, the shimmer right here is just absolutely beautiful. And the mattes are really, really nice. And I actually really like this yellow because it's a pretty um, interesting, you know, transitional shade that you could use or a highlighting shade. Um, so I think the colors are really nice. I am not gonna be swatching this because I am not gonna be keeping this. I am gonna be passing this on. Um, and again, I think it's beautiful. I just know it's not a palette that I am going to reach for. Cool toned kind of gal. It's beautiful and I, I can imagine that if you got this and you wear lots of corals and that sort of thing, you will love this. I'm blue eyed and pink, very pink undertones and I just don't wear a whole lot of corals um, or sort of clay or reddy brown color. So for that reason, I am gonna pass that on. Um, I will say that occasionally I do dabble into those colors. I have a little bit um, right now in that color range, um, but I have two palettes that I use quite frequently if I decide to dabble in that as I did today. Um, and I just, I rarely use them. It's cool to have the two and occasionally I do, but not enough to keep a third. The next item, is going to be the Real Her I Am Adaptable Liquid Lipstick. Packaging is on point with that, that's for sure. And the value is $14 for this. And whew, packaging is so beautiful. So this looks like a classic red with a beautiful sparkly rose gold top. Um, this is really pretty. I have quite a few reds right now. I actually took red off my profile just recently with Ipsy so they could um, send me some different sort of colors. So I'm going to be putting this in a giveaway. I think it's beautiful and you cannot go wrong with a classic red liquid lip no matter what. And this one seems really pretty. I can't speak to, uh, you know, the application because I don't want to swatch it because I'm going to be setting it aside for a giveaway. But that is absolutely gorgeous. So next we have the Perlise Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer. Again, packaging is really nice on this. And the value of this is $45. And it says that it can prevent fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm really excited to try this out. Uh, you know, you can't go wrong with a moisturizer. And I'm, I'm super excited, especially with one that has some skincare benefits like preventing uh, fine wrinkles. And it even says prevent right here on the packaging. So that's really great. Let me give that a smell. It is sealed. It has a very, very, very faint smell, uh, just faint. And I can't even really place it. So I'm excited to try this. It's a good size. It's $45. So that is crazy expensive moisturizer. I expect some pretty best, awesome, great things. All right, next we have some Farrah brushes. Be beautiful, be you. And these have a silver handle and they look like an eye set. Uh, the value of these is $50, which is very expensive, but it says they can be used with cream or powder, um, and it says it's 100% vegan bristles, so that uh, that's expensive for eye brushes. Now, I do have some other Farrah that we got in our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and I've really enjoyed those a lot, so hopefully I will enjoy these. They're very, very, very light. Wow, they are light. It feels like nothing in there. Um, which is interesting because I, I do like a little bit of weight usually, but that's okay. I'm not going to complain about that. 
Um, does it say, okay, so it does. So this is a three mini tapered blending brush. So that's nice. It's dense at the bottom, not as dense at the top. So I guess that's, you know, why it's tapered, but we will, that's nice. Like I'm actually excited to, to play around with that. Then we have, oh, I love this, a six short shading brush. But honestly, this will make a heck of a packing brush. So I don't know if you can see this shape, but I like this shape. Um, and that will be really good for packing. Then we have a big fluffy uh, 65E large shading brush. Wait a minute, these two kind of look exactly the same. This is a 35E tapered, so 65E, 35E tapered blending large shading. Hmm, I'm, I'm looking at these. And they look exactly the same. This one might be a smidgen wider. I don't know. You guys tell me, but I think these look exactly the same. They do feel different. This one feels um, slightly different, but these, these have to be very similar. I'm not sure. Those are very similar. But, you know, stand by. That's great. Then we have a 25 fly wings brush, and this is just an angled um, dense brush, which will be really good for shading under the eye line or the lower lash line. So some good things there. I'm excited for these brushes. I don't know if $50 is, that's expensive, but all right. So the next item and the last item in this box is going to be a $26 Benefit Cosmetics dandelion shy beam liquid highlighter and um i've actually read some things about this and i think the word highlighter is throwing people off it's got directions it must be good um i think the highlighter is throwing people off so it looks like this and also because the packaging is shiny and wonderful i think people expect this to be like a blinding kind of highlighter but I've actually read that you should can think of this as, because it is matte, pink matte radiance highlighter. So everyone's like, matte highlighter, how can that be? But I have read that if you think of this as a concealer, instead of a very light highlighting concealer, instead of a blinding sort of, you know, highlighter. You know, we have two highlighters. We have the highlight to shine, and we have a highlight to be opposition to contour. So I think that is what this is intended for. So it looks like nail polish. Doesn't smell like nail polish, thank goodness, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch this and I, I see what they mean. So, as I said, I'm very pink undertone, so this may just blend right into my life. Um, but you can see there that it does sort of show up. I put a very thick goop there. So what I wanna do is I just wanna blend that a bit. It actually looks very similar to my actual concealer. It's maybe a bit pinker. And it does have a bit of I guess this is what they're gonna call the radiance. It has a bit of shimmer. So there it goes, blended right into my person. But you can kind of see um, the outline here of where that changes. Yeah, so that is how I plan on using this as a concealer um, in areas that I really wanna highlight rather than thinking of this as like a blinding highlighter. So in that way, I may get some good use out of this. I will test it out, I will try it out. I will let you guys know. All right, so that's it for my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus this month. Assuming I've done my math correct, and if not, I'll put it on screen. I have this box valued at about $162. I uh, I think obviously you will make the value of your uh, box. I still think this is the best beauty box out there. I mean, let me know what you think, but I still think it, this was my least favorite box just because you know I'm not, not using every single item, um, but they're great items. Nobody can deny that. Nobody can deny that this lipstick's not gorge and that this, uh, this palette's not amazing. It's a $27 value. So it's great. So I'm not complaining about the box. So please don't get me wrong. I think the box is just still nailing it, but, uh, it's just been my least favorite of all the ones that I've gotten. Still a great box. All right. So that's it for me. Let me know in the comments down below which Huda palette you got. Um, I am so excited to see what you smoky people got and how you like that palette because that was the one that just called to me and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to be a cat eye goddess with that palette. Um, so let me know what you end up thinking about that and the formula and let me know if you got anything else and this, uh, benefit product. If we use it as a concealer, does it help? All right. So that's it for me guys. And I will see you next time. Bye.